Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Tom Mizzle. You watch my channel, Mizzle 14, and I'm here doing a review of Southern Charm Season 6, Episode 2. This episode really didn't get much, so this won't be a long ass video at all. So, we get Cameron is going to get a pedicure, and she's going to meet with Eliza. You remember Eliza last week when she was all that yap, 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 yap in our party? Like, she was doing all that talking. I was like, oh, I was this, and I was this, and this is that. And then she always do all that bragging and all that talking and trying to diss people, to, taking dags at Catherine. It's like she didn't have no social um, social cues. Like, she don't know that social etiquette. And Cameron was telling her, I said, listen, girl. And mind you, when she came to the pedicure, that thing, people asked you, oh, can I get you some drink? She said, no, I got my own drink. Put her own drink out. And she was like, um, where's the thing at? This and that, and all that stuff. And the camera was like, oh, my God, this girl is, she had no coup. Like, she really don't really care. Like, she just had no filter on herself. And it was really crazy. And I said, damn, you put your old drink out, bitch. And it got the lady looking at her like, okay, just walked out. So Cameron told her straight up, and said, listen, girl, you need to learn to shut the fuck up. You need to learn to have a filter. You need to know when to hold back and everything because you was talking too much. You were saying way too much. You were throwing people off at that party. You was getting people the wrong question on you. It's like she said, well, I have to say what I have to say because um, it was it was granted. It's like, well, I got to talk. And it's like, yeah, you just need to tone it down, though. Tone it back sometimes. Like, you didn't have to say all oh, that, all that bragging and something you was doing. I was like, oh, I, I agree. She had to do all that. Eliza threw me off that first episode. And I said, oh, okay. All right, Eliza. All right, so that was that what we need to hear from her. So, Austin and Catherine meet up. Catherine is so great that she's in good graces with Patricia, darling. That Patricia, you know, Patricia threw that whole party, that hot upper class woman. Yeah, so she good that she got in good graces with her because she had a whole up and down life and everything. But now, everything's going good with her. So she's getting together. She took Austin to her home because now that um, Thomas, the person that's going through the court thing with, right now, her baby daddy, basically, she going to get full custody. So she got a home. She saw the home. The home is beautiful. It's decorated nice and everything, all that stuff. Austin said, oh, this is nice. It's really good. Nice little area. So I was like, oh, go ahead, go ahead, um, Catherine. And they did talk that um, Austin is good that he's in a good relationship with Madison. And he don't care what nobody say about their relationship. Because remember last week, Austin had this Instagram post that by one of the women that he had a threesome with. And she posted that shit up and they was going back and forth. And they come to find out that Madison went around and did the same thing. Not did the same thing, a threesome, but she slept with somebody right after this happened. So it was like two wrongs didn't make it right. It's like you got on from treating and then you did the same thing. I was like, oh, y'all two is too much. But he said he don't care what nobody say. He going to do what he going to do with his girl, Madison. And nobody can't say anything about that. We good. I said, as long as y'all good, we good. All right. Okay, good. All right, Craig. Now I got. I now understand why Naomi was going off with Craig. Cause Craig is like a ditzy ass white boy. Like he didn't know what the fuck he doing. He's like lazy. He's so all over the place. Like, like loony. Like a loony loose in the head. Like what the hell is going on? Like so. Anna Hathaway is his manager, assistant, like that. Was give him a call. And he said, "I'm coming on my way and everything." And did you work on the stuff that I told you to work on, like the project or something that we need to be working on? And he said, uh, 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 I, I gotta get this together. He said, I take that as a no. Yes, he didn't do shit because she was on that couch laying right the fuck around and he didn't answer anything. Anything, like laying around, laying back, didn't do anything productive. He just like, and then on, I was like, oh God. So now, now I see why Naomi, because last week I didn't understand why, why these people getting that, um, Craig. Maybe because Craig was a lazy ass bum and he didn't really do what the fuck he was supposed to be doing. But now I can see that Anna had to get on because he said, I gotta need somebody. I need, I need somebody like Anna to get on me. No, not my girlfriend. I said, oh, okay. So Anna's like, like your person who can get on you to you make your own, um, get your ass on foot. So I guess he's doing right now a pillow business, making pillows. But he said he had to stop taking orders because he making like 10 pillows a week. 
And then he need to figure out how to make more pillows during the week or something like that. So right now they took a slow with the um, pillows. Apparently he had ordered a big box of beef jerky. And he don't even remember ordering any beef jerky. So I said, damn, you... Just like people in my job that I work with, like, they be ordering shit and they don't remember what they order. I said, what the hell? Yeah, just click, 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 click on the damn freaking send button and order and then complete order. You know, I would say no. When I order, so I know what I ordered. So I don't order that much. But damn, yeah, just click, click, click. And say, oh, oh, like that. Click, click, click. And they come to you. Then you don't realize what you order. I guess that's what he was doing. So I said, damn, he ordered, really ordered a big box of beef jerky. So I said, oh, really? She said, okay, cool. And they was talking. And they had some different, different things to go on. And I was like, ooh. Okay. And then Naomi went to her little thing. She had her own little business. Is all, um, or work. A woman. is a woman etiquette. Uh, not a woman etiquette. Woman apparel type of store. Where they had some booties. And they were selling on dresses. And stuff like that. It seemed like it was a small little shop. So it was in orders. And they had to send some orders out. So it wasn't, done, it wasn't too much about a man, um, Naomi, and then she was seeing the um, tour, her boyfriend right now, so that's all good with them. Ooh, oh shit. Oh, yeah, I remember telling you, Eliza, she was telling about her family background that, um, I think, um, her father and mother, the Limehouse, and it's like, if you go a lot of places, if you see that Limehouse name, her father is part of the, her family. That's that name. So she said she can't go around the bridge and this, this without seeing her name, um, her family name around. So she said she's well, she's in the well. But last year, so like that, our father was this whole big scandal where he cheated on the mom and stuff like that. So it's it was a lot of things going on. So maybe that's why Eliza is doing what she gonna be doing. All right, so um. Shepherds with the shop with Danny. Remember Shepherd Danny met last week and they was talking about all Austin Masters. Nothing different this time. Shep, um, they still talk about Moss Madison, Austin. They said like, oh, they shouldn't be doing that. They should have just, um, um, we find out Danny is dating this guy named Dentry. Nice look, look, nice look white guy. And it was so funny that they ordered burg burgers to share the burger. He was saying, no lady to manage. She said, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Shit, he said, "No, put half, put it on the side." And they say, "You want um mac and cheese or tots?" He said, "Oh, we can order tots, please." She said, "Uh, that's it." She said, "Uh, uh what about home mac and cheese?" He said, well, "Well, I'm driving, sweetie. I'm driving the bus, sweetie. Whatever he said, and and all that stuff." And also, when they got the food, he was like, "Oh, let's get the tots." And I don't even like the tots like much. I just said, said, "Why the fuck you ordered the tots then?" If he didn't really like tots, I was like, "Oh my god, she is too much of herself." We come to find out that Shep is not somebody who could be in a relationship. He said he liked being by himself. He said he had dated this chick last week or something like that. It was all good. And then all of a sudden she dumped him because they was lying on the bike somewhere and doing a bike ride. And he just left the chick and lost her somewhere. And then he went out and they came back trying to find the chick and all that stuff. And then on it, um, got her. And then he would post some, it was some stuff on Instagram that like he was sitting on the couch with some females and stuff on. So she had, a, she didn't like that. And she just ended him. I said, oh, Shep. So Shep cannot be in a um, community relationship right now. He just like being by himself. I said, I know some people, some people like being by himself. But when I, if I see a good person and I know I can date with someone, I can just not, just not work it out and be in, all in. So Girl, Shep, get it together, boy. Get it together. Because he's not working. Um, get it together. So Chelsea's playing a housewoman party. And Chelsea's, it was a nice little house place. It's a nice house and everything. Because she said she did a lot of her work herself. She saved a lot of money. Did a lot of parties. I said, that's a good work. I don't know if I can get a house, I can do things myself. I mean, I have people with my job, something like that. They got houses. They do a lot of this shit themselves. They fix up the tiles themselves, they do this themselves, they do that themselves. I said, I don't know much shit about a lot of things. Like, I did this blinds myself. <laughs> it took me a little bit to fix that, and I finally got that together. So, I don't know. He said, my friend said, it's so, it's so easy. Once you put your mind to it, it's so really easy to put things together. So, it's not really that difficult if you want to put this in, put that follow directions or stuff. So, I don't know. But she said she did a lot of things and stuff. She saved a lot of money, but the house is nice. But she just don't worry about her house get dirty because she's a neat freak and she like she like things in order and she worry about the people coming to her house and messing things up. I said they don't have a house party then, but it is what it is. A housewarming party. 
she ordered bear kegs, um, kegs, um, stuff like that, fruits. It was a barbecue style fruits that was you ordered catering or briskets and some mac and cheese and stuff like that. It was nice. Um, all the power came. We find out that um Chelsea got a boyfriend named Nick. We wrote out and met him and he's somewhere doing something on a contract and he not gonna be back around until early January and things like that. So you won't see him around as much. So Naomi Cameron and Danny met out for um lunch and they talk about this lady with Ashley. I think Ashley is somebody that um, was cool with Eliza and cool with um Thomas at the time back in the past. And they had a whole fortnight because I don't know who Ashley is, but I do I do remember they mentioned her name last week. So apparently she get an award. I think someone from the nursing field or like that. And they was like, oh, why she get an award? Is she doing good? Something like that because she didn't want that great in our book a lot of stuff. So if she get an award, that means that she's okay. And she's really good on that. And she's not that bad. They was like, child, please. She bitches all. She's a phony. She a fake. She ain't all that. So Cameron said, oh, let me get my text. Let me text her with like, your graduation. They said, you better not. She said, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I can't call, call me. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. So that was that. So that was good. The whole big thing at that house warming, I mean, um, Austin is upset because his beer business, because Chelsea asked him about this big thing that he was, she asked him about, can she get some products and some like cakes and stuff like that for him or stuff. And he didn't have his stuff ready. His business is not going great like he did. So like it put a stop right now. So he upset that she had got it somewhere else. It's so like that. She said, I know I actually, but he can't be upset because he knows for himself that he wasn't a poor with his thing. So he need to get it back together to get his business back on. So that was that one we got from that. Um, what the, the most thing we got from that thing, um, uh, for the things that Catherine revealed to people that they had a rendezvous, they did it. Cause last week Chelsea asked, uh, freaking Whitney, did she have slept with Catherine? And it was because Austin told her that. And, um, she said, he said, oh no, but you got that. We get that from No, I ain't do, I ain't do sleep. I ain't do nothing like that. And parents find out he did something like that. And they did have a little twin. So she revealed it. She said, how was it? It wasn't that bad. So basically, it was good. And he was all up in the arms telling her not to say anything, not to say anything. Come to find out he was told something. I said, how you going to tell somebody not to say something when you don't want to say something? Like, come on now. All right? So he said something that she ended up saying something because she got close to Patricia, Patricia Darling. And I lost her. So she ended up saying something. And I, everybody was shocked. And they, all the people in the line of the room said, how, how the hell they do? She said, because she told them. I said, dang, y'all just loose mouth around here, huh? So, um, yeah, Austin, um, Craig meet up in Whitney. And they didn't really say much. They would talk about it. And they would talk about the um, Whitney thing, uh, um, Catherine. And you messing with Catherine and how it was that and all that stuff. And Whitney do the same thing or the same thing. He said, oh, it's my business with that. It's my business, my business with Catherine and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right, so Cameron and Shep met up and um, went up to the boat. And they was going to catch some crabs. He said, let's catch some crabs and see how many crabs we get. We're going to do some crab boils or something like that. And... Caught a bunch of crabs, and then Shep was trying to put his hand in the crab, trying to catch one of them, and the freaking one of the crab bit him, and he said, it was crawling away, he tried to catch it and put it back in the thing. I said, yo, put your hand in the crab thing, he'll bite you, yes. He said, it's okay. It's okay. I was like, Shep is so freaking, um, deuce, a douchebag sometimes. I was like, so, they catch it, when they still, they sat down and talked about freaking, um, Austin and Madison, and it was like, how you think about doing that? He said, they should not have been together because this is ridiculous. ridiculous. And Kev, um, Shep made a comment. It's like, well, if somebody did that to you, you know, you probably to do something like that as well. So she said, oh, uh, um, um, what was I saying? Kev said, no, nah, nah, that's not right. No, that's not good. You ain't, you're not on the post to go back and do one of the same thing if the person did that to you. And I was like, listen, if the person keep constantly cheating on you, made a uh, constant cheating on you or whatever, I don't know how many times he was cheating on her. I think he caught her in the video. And then she turned around and just slept with somebody right after this happened. So I was like, damn, y'all both was in the wrong. It's just like you wouldn't get caught, whatever. Cameron, not like Cameron, um, Madison. 
So I was like, oh, he said, I'm not trying to be a sexist. She said, you would, you just not, you wouldn't say that because she's a woman. It's like that. And because it was a man, you wouldn't not be saying that. You would say, oh, it's good because he's a good dude because of that. I was like, maybe because he think that, oh, because he's a man, he do what he could do. It is what it is. Whether you do it before or after Madison, he did what he do. He's good. That's a man. Man would do that. But him, it's like, oh, she's powerful. She could powerful. She could do that because he did it. She don't know. And I said, that's supposed to make a light. So that was that. That's how it ended. Like I said, it wasn't too much of this thing. So it wasn't going to be a long ass video. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you really do enjoy it. Tell me your comments if you see on the episode. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.